Okay, and hit log on. So picture yourself now. You maybe you just got a whole bunch of uh, text messages coming directly to your cell phone, and now you need to acknowledge the alarms. Well, you could open up your laptop and get its Wi-Fi access on there, or anytime you want, you could just log on and then hit standing alarms. Right now, the three indicates that there are three windows. They could be like your critical, major, minor windows, your side windows, the same ones that you define in Tmon that have alarms. So here, you have our navigation of window pages. Since there are only three, they all fit in one page, and that's why there's only one page. If there were more than three, you'd, you'd be able to scroll and, and see the additional ones, and we'll get an example of that when we look at the points. Uh, here, because the alarm is blinking for a point, what does that mean? Unacknowledged. Unacknowledged alarm. You still have a point for that. Um, and so I could switch over to change of state mode and look at that, but right now I just want to see you know, what the alarms are. So let's just say I, I'm really interested in Santa Monica. I have a technician going there. I want to make sure he has the right things. So I pick Santa Monica. And so here I can see I have a number of alarms and here you get pretty much get the detail on those. And so uh, here I can see get the description, the date, and the time. If I want to uh, and here there's just just those three alarms. So if he was at the site and he wanted and he uh, fixed the problems, I would expect that to go to nothing. I could hit change of state, but if I do that, there's not going to be anything there because it wasn't blinking earlier. So, um, but with respect to standing alarms, though, or COS alarms, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my uh, Windows page. And now I'm going to go to the all alarms because it's blinking, so I know it has a change of state. So I'm going to see what type of alarms are, are currently there. So here it's saying, on the top is saying I'm in, in standing, and I want to select COS to switch my context mode to that. And so then that top window here is now going to say change of state. And notice now for the first time, I, I see where it says one and two on top. So here I have more than so here I have the first 25 alarms. We have 25 alarms on a page. And then if I want to see the next 25, I simply hit, I can either hit the two button or push one to the right to take me one there. And then it brings up the second set and now I can see the numbers start from 26. If I wanted to act an individual alarm, I could just, if I wanted to do the device failure alarm, I would just hit the act button and then it would immediately act it. Here, here I brought it basically the alarm detail. If you click the alarm and you want it, maybe there was a text message associated with it telling you exactly what to do, you would be able to see that down here. And I can also acknowledge the alarm from there from that full detail view. Uh, now, if I was going to be acknowledging those, if I had a whole bunch of alarms, just by the way of back and forth nature of that, it could take a while to do all those acknowledgements. So, if I wanted to selectively acknowledge it, I could say I want to do that, that critical one, I want to do the LA major, I want to scroll down a little bit and get that, that, and that. And so now if I scroll to the very bottom, I have this thing called ACK SELECT. And if I do that, that'll act just those that are selected all in one command sequence. And a third option is if I go ahead and as doing the best practice, I look at each and every one of these really quickly to say, okay, yes, I know what all those are. And they were either transients coming in and out. I could just say app page. And then everything on that page is now gonna be acknowledged. And now my page count will go from two pages down to one page. Okay, so there, that is all act. Now, we would expect, and it also says COSs are now zero. If I go to the standing screen, I'm still going to have all those alarms there because they didn't physically clear just following normal Tmon rules.